diet shifts. An entry of global retailers and manufacturers, which is pushing the market very quickly towards a growth in egg products. Egg businesses are becoming large scale, vertically integrated, and are pushing to the affluent middle sector branded and graded eggs. Also promoting positive health benefits, high quality food safety, and are being very successful at launching premium products. And I understand that that's only a sector of the market, but it's an important sector. Barbados is a really interesting example too. They have very low, very low budgets, and this campaign is run by a single business. They're targeting children, our consumers of the future, and doing some simple things, but doing them well. And, and bear in mind, this is an individual business. Have an egg mascot called Eggy. They, they invited me to speak, and Eggy was the next speaker. As soon as he came on stage, my speech was over. All of the kids just want to see Eggy. Also running their own TV show, uh, using local personalities to promote eggs. Mongolia is an interesting example. Eggs are not a traditional food in Mongolia because of the nomadic culture, the poor climate. But they've come up with, and again this is run by an individual business, they've come up with targeting children, younger generations, and then, um, and then later young adults in different ways with their, with their eggs. Messages to children and, and infants can be related to the whole egg, both the protein and the vitamins and the minerals. And then they're trying to make eggs relevant to teenagers. And I think that's a huge challenge. How do you do that? But they're tapping into popular culture and they're trying to find a way for teenagers to understand that eggs can make them more attractive because of course this is so important to teenagers.